I'm going to create a Gantt chart using Microsoft Excel. Now, a Gantt chart is a popular project management tool, and Excel doesn't have a direct built-in way to create a Gantt chart, but by customizing a stacked bar chart, you can make a Gantt chart. So, I'm going to start off just by labeling this. And then I'm going to create a basic table here. My table is going to be uh, built of various tasks. A single project is made up of multiple tasks. The start date, the duration, and days, and the end date. And I'll put in some fake tasks. Okay, so my project will have eight different tasks, and I'll start to put in some different dates of starting individual tasks. Various start dates, I'll put in some different durations for individual items. Now for the end dates, I'll simply have Excel calculate those for me. Start date plus duration There we go. So I have some basic information on various tasks for a project, the start dates, the duration, and the end dates. Now to start the Gantt chart, I'm going to select my data set. Not getting my end date though. I just want the task labels, the start dates, and the duration in days. I'll start my chart wizard. I'll create a bar chart with a subtype stacked bar chart. Next. Now I'm going to spend a little bit of time here. The data range, step two of the chart wizard, the data range is good for now. I'm going to jump over to the series tab. I'm going to remove the current series of duration, and then I'm going to add a series. The name of my first series will be start date. The values will be the various dates of my start date. And now my chart is starting to get populated. Now I'm going to add another series. The name of this second series will be duration and days. And the values will be the various durations. This is how my stacked bar chart looks now. My category x-axis labels will be the task names. So now I have task 87654321. We'll reverse those in a little bit. Next. And the only thing I'll change here in step three is for legend, I will get rid of the legend and then finish. So I now have the beginnings of a Gantt chart. Now, there's a couple things here though. I don't need to see the actual start dates, so I will double click on any series that's part of the start dates, and I'll go to Patterns, Border, None, Area, None, OK. That leaves only the durations. And I also want to reverse my tasks, so I'll right click on any task label, Format Axis, Scale, Categories in Reverse Order. While I'm here, I'm going to change my font to make it a little bit easier to see. Tasks are in order, 1 through 8, and now I can see my durations. And this is a Gantt chart. Now I have a little one-day item here, and I have a larger item over here. Now my Gantt chart happens to be starting on March 9th, 2007, even though my first events really don't begin until May 1st. So in order to better show a date range of items here, you need to know a little bit about how Excel displays dates. For instance, on Excel, the date May 1st, 2007, is really the numeric value 39,203. 
let's see, my last project ends around July 20th. So I'll say that 731-2007, its numeric value is 39,294. So this is really the date range that I want. So I will double click on any of my value axes, go to scale, and my minimum will be 39,203. My maximum, 39,294. Okay. Now I get a little bit more information. Let me reduce the font a bit, make it easier to see. Here we go. Now my projects seem to start at 5 1 2007. If I want to show a little bit earlier than that, I'll change my minimum scale to 200. Just a couple days right before. So here's my new and improved Gantt chart. It shows various tasks, gives me approximate start times and durations. I can now see when certain projects overlap. So some projects overlap another project in their duration. Some projects or some tasks, for instance, task three doesn't start until well after task two has completed.